I'm sitting inside the test section of the subsonic wind tunnel. This is where the model is placed. Wind tunnels can be very small or big enough to test an actual full-size design. I think the essence of an engineer is to figure out how to build things better. We have a tunnel here where we make measurements at Mach 6 on wind tunnel models. So we make measurements for different Air Force and NASA programs. There's very large advantages of putting models in wind tunnels. Actual flights are expensive. Some test flights can cost over $50 million. By working with a wind tunnel, scientists and engineers can get a lot of information on the ground first. With wind tunnels, it's all about the numbers and what those numbers can tell us. The data is collected by using instruments that measure everything from air pressure to air speed, so you don't really see anything. One way to visualize what's going on inside the wind tunnel is to add smoke. This device, called Little Smokey, puts smoke into the airflow so we can see what's happening. The scientists at NASA use another technique. I've brought a hardened version of the FPG-9 to the Dryden Flow Visualization Facility to test its aerodynamics. Just like with Little Smokey, this test allows us to see what the airflow would be like moving over a model. The models that we have here represent the airplanes that NASA flies. To test a new design, engineers can put any model inside the fluid tunnel. From there, we can make observations about the model or specific parts of the design. It is purely just what we're seeing with our eyes and using engineering judgment to basically make the call. Water tunnel tested, NASA approved. It's time for you to fly. <laughs>